thousands of Georgia and Alabama fans are beginning to trickle into town as championship weekend has arrived here in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. Wish TV, of course, the official local broadcast partner of the 2022 College Football Playoff Host Committee. News 8's Adam Pinsker is on Georgia Street where crews were busy today putting on the finishing touches. Adam. Plenty to do on Georgia Street starting tomorrow. We're going to have food, beer, stages for some musical performances, and most importantly, heaters will be set up along here, and some merchandise shops for Georgia and Alabama fans. And to top all that off, 500 drones will be descending upon this area at about 6 o'clock tomorrow night and Sunday, weather permitting for a drone show by a company called Verge Aero. It's been designed specifically to do drone light shows. And so there's a very bright uh, LED array on the bottom that puts out a, a ton of light that's controlled. And the idea is that the, the drones fly in a synchronized formation to create different graphic images or spell out word. So our team has uh, spent an immense amount of time and many long hours designing the software that allows these drones to fly in unison and do what's intended. And there are all kinds of safety mechanisms built in to ensure that they don't collide. So uh, it's mathematically impossible from a design point of view for two drones to intersect and collide because we have all these mathematical checks to ensure that the, the trajectories that they take are indeed clear of other drones. You use the software, and it's really simple for you. You just draw the eight, okay, and then the software does all the calculations in terms of if you're using, say, 100 drones to make your eight, then what are the flight paths from the ground up and then landing afterwards? I think it's just a really um, awesome opportunity to showcase our work and to give people something really visually unique and interesting. And those same drones will also fly, fly above Lucas Oil Stadium on Monday during the game to display the score for each team uh, with each team's logo per quarter. So that should be pretty cool. Adam Pinsker, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Adam, thank you. Our college football playoff coverage continues at the Indiana Convention Center. Yeah, fans will get their hands on footballs, food, and so much more at the Playoff Fan Center located inside the Convention Center. News 8's Camilla Fernandez got an inside look at the unique space. Camilla. Event organizers tell me they're getting ready to welcome thousands of fans at the convention center. People will also get the opportunity to raise money for Indianapolis public schools. They say it's a chance for people from all walks of life to make lasting memories in the Hoosier State. College's biggest game is coming to Indianapolis, and on Friday, the two teams playing against each other, Georgia Bulldogs and Alabama Crimson Tide, arrived to Indianapolis International Airport. Indianapolis, no one does sporting events better than Indianapolis. Before the national championship on August 10th, for three days, thousands of fans will be making their way to the Playoff Fan Central at the Indiana Convention Center. It's really a lot of fun, and I think you could spend, you know, quite a few hours here. We put years Years of work into this, uh, both the local host committee and at the national level. There will be games for people of all ages, live performances, autograph signings, exhibits, and even special guest appearances. There's also panel sessions you can sit in on with some notable football players and a lot of things that will keep the interest of all ages. This isn't your average school bus. Fans will also get to throw footballs through windows of each team and for every football that goes into the bus, a dollar is given to Indianapolis public schools. There's just so much anyone who's a hardcore fan of football to someone who really doesn't even care about football. There is something for everyone here uh, at Playoff Fan Central. Organizers hope this event will make a positive impact on the community for generations to come. We're going to have this event uh, for thousands of people to come down and really do it in a fun, safe way and just hopefully have great memories of the college football playoff being here. Phil and Alexis, the best part is that the event is free of charge. Playoff Fan Central starts tomorrow and runs through January 10th. Camilla Fernandez, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Well, thank you. Staying at the convention center now, the Puppy Bowl is back in town. And as you can see, plenty of pups out there ready to put on a ferocious competition.
Did you get that? News 8 was there to catch them in the middle of practice. And by the looks of those toys out there, these pups are about to bring the <clears throat> fury or furry. Ah, there right. we go. Well done. I like it a lot. Uh -huh. So cute. Yeah, Look. There we go. Hey, Northwest Middle School teacher Kevin Melrose plans to soak it all in on Monday at the 2022 National College Football Championship. He is one of 74 educators across the nation that will hold the American flag on the field during the national anthem. The eighth grade social studies teacher is one of 18 educators nominated in the Teacher of the Year Championship experience. Melrose says he's looking forward to networking with his peers at the various events over the weekend. And some big names are coming to the concert stage this weekend. That includes multi-platinum country singer Sam Hunt. Hunt is from Georgia, so he does have some skin in the game. He says he's rooting for his hometown team. And when it comes to the music, and his set list, Hunt says that he's going to play songs that will make the crowd feel warm and energized. This is an environment that we don't get to play in that often. Uh, there's a football game going on, so that adds to the festivities. Um, I think people are going to be, like I said, in high spirit. So it's, it's always nice playing as a part of an event that's bigger than you. We'll definitely try to keep the, the party alive uh, and, and keep the tailgate um, spirit going. He'll be joined by YouTube's On The Rise artist, Breland. Gates for that show open at noon. Well, some fans may have trouble getting here. 20 incoming flights have been canceled today. Eight other flights are already canceled for tomorrow. 100,000 people are expected to come through the Inter Indianapolis International Airport over the next two days to what, really two to three days. And airport officials say that they're ready. Airport Executive Director Mario Rodriguez says there is a definite buzz in the airport as this sets up to be a major weekend here in Indianapolis. He has a plan in place to assure that things go smoothly all weekend. Everything is set up from landing the airplane all the way out to the downtown to make sure you get to downtown through ground transportation and all the way back. The airport is trying to address the flight cancellations issue. They contacted Delta Airlines directly to add three direct flights to Indianapolis ahead of the championship game. The College Football Playoff Foundation looks to leave a lasting legacy after the game is over. It unveiled major improvements to the James and Rosemary Phelan Leadership Academy Media Center today. This was the fourth and final school makeover by the foundation. It says the new media center is a place where students can collaborate and create. So to be able to really meet um, the students where they are today, you really have to have a fresh space, a space that you know, invites learning, a space that provides some innovation and some technology. Uh, so, so kids want to come to school and they want to you know, spend time in the space. The center received books, new technology and updated furniture. All right, we've made it really easy for you to take part in this weekend's fan events. Grab your phone right now, scan that QR code on the bottom left-hand side of your screen. It will take you to wishtv.com and the full list of events and, and times in downtown. Of course, we'll be covering it and have a crew on the circle.